um, but it's the sun, and that's good. Okay, really good stuff. And then we have five of wands reversed. So I see giving up, like um, the fight to be recognized. Okay, you may see it's like pointless. And then I see six of swords. You're moving on from that. And then when you move on, you have two of wands. You're making a choice. Um, it could be that you're leaving one job and you're going into a new contract. You may get an interview, you may get a letter, you may get an email, but you're going to have some kind of achievement in business, but it's going to require you to take a step. You have to leave something old behind and take grab onto something new. Um, the foundation is set, okay? And I think that some kind of unusual or maybe unexpected event is going to happen now. And if there's any kind of conflict, it's going to bring loss. And so I see you let go of conflict and you're moving on. So this is really good news. So no loss, okay? Um, you may be lacking some direction. Maybe you go in your own way. Maybe you start in your own business. But whatever happens, you've got to maintain balance. Be willing to improve conditions. Uh, be objective and judge fairly. Maybe because um, you're at this threshold of like, taking some kind of an oath or a pledge. Maybe you're becoming the boss before. Okay, so maybe before you were fighting to get recognized, and then you do get recognized, you move on up and you become the boss. Okay, and so you're very competent and you have lots of accomplishments. Um, and with Five of Wands, it talks about, you know, rivalry and obstacles, but you've overcome them. You've overcome your rival. You've overcome the obstacles. Oh, really good. You didn't allow something to dominate you, which is really good. And people see you probably in a better light. All right, I need two cards for the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Death. Ooh, and the Hermit. Okay. So there is something new on the horizon. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking. Trying to figure out why the hermit's here. I can see death being here, as in having a transformation, something ending, something new beginning. And so this kind of tells you that if you did get passed over for some kind of promotion, perhaps, that there is always a silver lining. And it's that eventually you do get recognized, you get to move on to a different job, perhaps. And that's why you have two choices. Somebody else recognizes you. And so now you have the silver lining. I also see that there was an end to the conflict. Yep. It may be because you move on physically or just because you move on mentally. I feel like at this job or in this relationship, perhaps, um, you felt like you were getting no support, especially about your dreams and your passions. And this is you being single. Okay, so if it's about love, you do move on from somebody. Maybe you had to compete for their attention, maybe from other girls, maybe from work, whatever it is, What other boys sorry didn't even think about that um i just saw lots of girls down here so um and so it's ended and then this is getting some solitude you're probably just taking like a mental pause before you take in your harvest because he's kind of pausing here too and his harvest is out there but he has to just take that step but you're pausing before you do it Oh, wrong way. And I think you may be a little frustrated by the end of a good time. This could be dating around. And maybe somebody asks you for a commitment and you're kind of frustrated that you had to let go of all that dating and it's dead and over. Maybe you kind of are withdrawing, being a little bit passive, maybe passive aggressive. Like you're like, well, I have to leave this old life behind and start a new one. But it's going to be for the better. You're just going to have to, like, you're kind of dealing with your thoughts alone. 
Like you're not sharing this information, which is good. <laughs> Cause I'm sure your partner probably wouldn't want to hear that. But you're just, you're having to change your thoughts, okay? You're taking some thoughts with you, the Six of Swords, and you're having to abandon them in order to take the next step. Why is the Five of Wands reversed? Okay, Four of Swords, yeah. You've ended a conflict. You are single, cutting somebody out for now, moving on, um, pr praying, meditating, just getting some inner guidance. I also see recovering. We have two recovery cards. So you're recovering from something, some kind of conflict. Or the end of busyness, okay? The end of possibly dating. Because, you know, they're not really fighting, they're play fighting. So I see, like, kind of like being out of the game. And you're kind of mourning that loss. Like, this is somebody who normally looks like they're, um, like, laid out in, like, a sepulchre. I guess is how you say it. And they're dead. So it's like almost like you're mourning. You have dead here too. It's like you're mourning the loss of your other self. Like, I wish I had the good old days, you know. <laughs> uh, I want to date around, but I can't for whatever reason. Maybe you have a wife and kid now. It could be marriage and children. I think you might be having a pity party. Okay, what comes after the two of wands? Okay, seven of wands, so feeling defensive against six of wands. Six of wands is promotion, achievement. This is feeling defensive against it. Um, with your eight of ace of wands, you're still holding on to some kind of dream. Remember, you have to let that one go to get a new one. And once you get the new dream, then you will be king of the hill. But all these six of wands are saying, hey, if you want this promotion, let that go, and you're still holding on. So you do have to let go. And it's also about acceptance. Oh, wrong side. There's that Ace of Wands, see? See, there, there it is. Ace of Wands comes up here a lot. They're all holding Aces of Wands. Like people are beating you over the head with their dreams and opinions. Could be that you had some kind of revelation, maybe religious. I do see a religious card in here too, actually. Maybe people would disagree about you becoming religious and you're having to move possibly to another country, um, maybe as a missionary, but not necessarily. Okay, why is the seven of wands here for Pisces from now until the end of May? Six of pentacles. Okay, so it's talking about giving and receiving. Also talks about prosperity. Well, with the Seven of Wands and Hermit, I'm seeing you may be teaching, like born to teach. So you may actually be a missionary, like maybe going out and teaching people. Um, could also be a literal teacher, and you're maybe moving schools. And I see you're going to have a new beginning creatively. It may be very well that you were let go from a job and you miss it, but you know you can't keep dwelling on it. But there may be some kind of surprise, like somebody was in your corner all the time and you just didn't know about it. Could have been like <clears throat> could have been like a benefactor. Oh, apologize guys, sorry about that. <clears throat> But with the High Priestess, I mean, with the Hermit, sorry, and Six of Pentacles, there may be a need for forgiveness of this conflict, whatever it was. Okay, why is the Ace of Wands here? Okay, Five of Wands, again, um, it's Five of Wands up here. So you may end something only to get back into it, like your dream. Okay. Yeah, remember, you said your dream, okay, your ace of wands was five of wands, possibly dating around, um, 
being busy, um, being in the game, um, but dating around, this is a passion card. Also, I usually see it as an affair. So you may be like, may have been having a pity party about having an affair, and you're really defending your belief, whatever it might be, your dream. Okay, it's not saying you're going to get it back, although you know you never know. I'm just saying that that's why the Ace of Wands was there. Okay. Hmm. You know, with the Two of Wands and the Hermit, you are seeking a teacher. Like, this is you searching for them. And this is being, finding one that's being born. Finding somebody to give you, to be generous towards you, to give you information. Yeah, there's some kind of investor. You, If you are a missionary, you're wanting somebody to invest in your travels because that's how you get there. <laughs> that's just how it works. But you're making that decision to move. Maybe this is, I want to stay. <laughs> but everybody else is saying, no, nope, you have to go. Seven of Cups, choose wisely. Okay, so for some of you, if it's about temptation with the Ace of Wands, you know, cheating. This is choosing wisely. I see this as temptation to cheat. But also, if you want to be, you don't let your desire to be king of the hill get in the way. Because um, you remember, sometimes you have to pick your battles. This is you picking a battle. This is you standing your ground and not backing down. This is saying choose wisely, okay? Because conflict may come back, okay? It may not be dating around for some people. So when I have seven of cups, I pull to see what are you choosing between. Okay, Eek. got a few things actually, I think. The fool, so starting out on your own, also taking that journey. Um, oh, and then two of pentacles, like dropping something. So going on the journey or ending it. Um, being free, doing what, be, doing what you want, being carefree. Um, starting some kind of new belief system. And dropping an old one, dropping some kind of, dropping two people, no longer juggling two people. Okay, so, let's see in here. This is also somebody who's following his own muse, following what he wants to do, not listening to anybody. Now, DC's, like with the fool, something's over really quickly, maybe over before it began, it's begun. Hmm. You know, funnily enough, when you have Seven of Cups, you have to pull at least two cards, or at least one card, but preferably two. Then we have another choice, but it's the choice to drop something, so I don't need two cards. I guess I could. Let's just see. Okay, the world reversed. So, okay, that would make sense. So, traveling, going your own way, doing what they say, possibly. Maybe not freedom. And then not traveling. Not going overseas. Okay, so those are your choices. Now, because we pulled these two cards uh, in relation to Seven of Cups, what you're deciding between, this is letting you know, okay, is it going to be a new path that has options or is it going to be foolish? And here I'm seeing you're choosing something foolish and that's going your own way um, and maybe to not go overseas. But remember, you know, your choices not only affect you, they affect others. Also, the fool is overcoming fear and taking a scary step. And whatever you're praying about, it's not in vain, okay? If you have some new belief system you're defending with the fool, um, I see that your enlightenment may be seen as foolish, okay? It may just be non-traditional. And it may oh, turn the world upside down. Like people don't like it. But the Ace of Wands talks about unlocking a long held dream. So if you take the other Ace of Wands and not hold on to the one you have, I think this will turn right back around. Now, whether or not you want to follow the advice is up to you. I'm just seeing it could be what other people want you to do. I'm, I'm not sure actually. 
But with the world and the seven of wands and the hermit, I see being isolated from the world like a monk um, and not quite yet being um, a master teacher. You may be born to teach, but you're not quite there yet. And you need to join life again. So I'm not sure why you're in isolation, but we have a lot of isolation cards. Now with Five of Wands, you may be gathering people from different countries and different cultures. And with the Seven of Cups, you may actually achieve some kind of fantasy. Um, but it could also be a worldly temptation. Or you may say, hey, you know, I really don't want to do this. If it's being a monk or whatever, I really don't want to do this. And so you may need some career counseling, okay? Um, because maybe you just don't know what to do. Because Seven of Cups says you don't know what's best. Okay, so let's actually pull for that. Okay. In regards to career and lifestyle choices, what is the best decision for Pisces to make? Okay, the Empress. So I see commitment, marriage, um, love, it's supposed to be about work, but love I'm going to do with these. This is getting recognized, getting rewards. Also freedom. Also see something that's clandestine, a marriage, possibly a clandestine marriage. Um, and also see home. Like This is the home card. It's also about education. It's also about teachers. It's also about students, oracles, and prophets. Maybe you want to be a mother. Hmm. I also see you need to kind of anticipate your behavior and others so you can kind of integrate your experience and then project into the future to see what's going to happen. And you're going to have to nurture this. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, because with the world, you may not have been nurturing it so far, this Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands also pregnancy, okay. But you're going to have to make sure you have all your nutrition, whatever it might be. And you'll be successful as long as you consistently nurture all areas of your life until they are concluded. So I do see a pregnancy here because we have the Ace of Wands. Um, and I see you also want to protect your home. You want to protect your family. So you may be wanting to protect a baby. Maybe somebody gets pregnant and you don't want to go overseas. You may be in the military. You may even be a chaplain in the military. I also see if you choose this own path that's different than conventional, um, you may end a friendship. Like they're going to be very grieved about this. Like I could see somebody kicking somebody out pretty much. Um, as far as love for Pisces, what is the best choice for Pisces to make in regards to love? Don't flirt. Get to know someone. So I guess be friends first is what I'm seeing. Your bond will deepen as you get to know each other. And let your friends help you. Get support from other people. And I did see, like, you know, asking friends or help, having a benefactor. Somebody's going to help you. Um, so let's just say you find yourself pregnant. And you may need to go to somebody you trust for help. Okay, and you can express your love. Um, but it's only after you don't flirt, you get to know each other, and you have your friends help you with advice. Then you can start expressing your love. Oh, and it's true love. I think I saw that earlier whenever I was shuffling. And the true love may not even be a person. It may just be a baby. What is an action step for Pisces um, who don't want to conform? Ten of Pentacles reverse. So there is a pregnancy in here um, with the Empress card. And you are really wanting to protect a family. So you... 
you don't want to leave your family is what I'm seeing. This is saying don't leave your family. However, I guess if you think about it, this might be don't leave your family. So it's really how you interpret it. And honestly, everything's up to you anyway. Just use your intuition. But I see somebody doesn't want to leave their family. They don't want to travel overseas for whatever reason. Military, clergy, whatever. 